Hello everybody, it's Lego Master 2011 here, um, and today I'm going to be doing an epic Lego collection. Um, for someone who started around like four weeks ago on YouTube, I've got quite a big Lego collection as I started collecting in 2020. When lockdown started, I was bored and I just wanted to get something um filled in well except from ho well home there's home learning that's been going on and stuff during coronavirus and i wanted to start a lego collection so here i am standing in 2022 and it's grown it's definitely grown since i first started with a lego classic set um so i have lots of tubs to open up so let's get to it okay so let's first start with it's just a random lid or tub this is my two by three two by three and two by four collection so we have lots of bits we even have these which have the two grips on we have jumbo plates, 2x3 plates, we even have, oh no, that's just a 2x4 two, two jumbo plate. Yeah, we have some tiles and ones. Most of them don't have these stickers on, but yeah. I do like to use these, like, for computers and stuff. Yeah. Use them for what they're needed for. This, go well with a... Basketball ball hoop something. Yeah. Um I've grown more of these too. So yeah. Next up is this tub which has some big boys in like these two water jets, these train roof pieces, these tower pieces and a small ladder um, in here just a bunch of random parts um, that need sorting out oh it's heavy as if i was daring myself to lift that up here got a few bricks and photos here guess what's in here studs one by one studs and one by one tiles and you know even got these little sand bits uh, got some little flowers flower pieces we've got connectors and stuff even got these sauce tops we've got eyes would be good for this time of the year and it's Halloween and stuff not Halloween, just ig just ignored Halloweeny stuff in my Lego in my um, new city over there. It's coming um, just like the old one. Cookies, yeah. That other city's going to be different. You have some transparent pieces in this tub. This one is hard to close. Next up, we have this, which has. All my two by bricks in. So I have two by twos and up. Got two by eight. Probably goes up to two by eight. I've not known a two by sixteen brick. I've known of a two by sixteen clay, which I've got quite a few of those. You'll see them later in the video. And yeah. So here we've got more big boys. Um, we've got this I got from a friend set. This digger piece. Um, what else is in here? Apart, got these iron oh, yeah, and road slopes. Got this police helicopter thing too. So yeah, it's mainly what's in there. And here are mini figures. So I don't keep any minifigure accessories in here, just the main body parts of a figure. Oh wait, 
Tor is actually looking for the Debenhams. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go on to the tallest. Now, I was thinking about saying the tallest to last, but I don't want it to fall over during the video, so yeah. Car chassis and shells. Yes, um, Junior's car chassis. Motorbike shells. Um, motorbike chassis. We've even got stunts in here. It will come out. It doesn't go very fast. It doesn't really go on the carpet here. Best if you use these on flat surfaces. Oh, there we go. Tries to work, but just struggles. Next tub is this one with all the other car parts in this, like mud guards, steering wheels, gear sticks, um, these grill protectors, um, car doors. Got this. Must be um, the edges of the bonnet. Uh, this bonnet piece here. And then we got these wheel, these small helicopter wheel attachers. And then we got some motorcycle um, quad quad bike steering gears. This in here, I don't think there's much here. Yeah, it's a really big um, Junior's buggy chassis. And then we got a big, another big one, that one's flat. And this helicopter shell, the bonnet. There's meant to be a windscreen piece that goes in here. We'll see that later. Um, need to rearrange this tub now. Okay, I'm not sure I'll be able to get any more big chassis or shells in this one. This one is heavy. Can you guess what's in here? I think I know what it is. Yeah, come on. She just tossed it. Open it in one hand and just why won't you just open one by twos any one by twos stick at one by twos grills one by two slopes these one by two connectors mainly any one by two some of these go in my technical but that's technic I don't know why it's plumbing in there One. It's going to be exceedingly hard to open to. Ah. My doors and windows. We've got this double door here, jail door. Um, yeah, it's going to keep these openable windows. So I can open these. School bus windows. And these um, house windows. Um, yes, half door, my free door, and then another gel door in there, it's extra wide, it's just a thick one. Good, this one now, let's open this one. It's got my 1 by 3s to 1 by 6s, 1 by 3s, 1 by 4s, 1 by 5s, 1 by 6s. So I don't have any 1x5s in here yet. That's not bad anymore. Got 1x6s, got these sticker plates. Um, yeah, I've got these. Ones are two stud attachments. And yeah, I've got tiles with the prints on. I do like that stripe print on so you can just block a window or something. Bring through this tub there. And this tub's just empty. Right, moving on to these small tubs. 
me open this one. So I have my round stuff in these satellites and these round plates. And like necklace, so you can just put this on, then spin it around. And just create like a big plush chair for the for the spoiled boss. Oh yeah, and these are meant to represent cones. And these um round bricks. Here's a large in there. Hmm. Oh, no, I even built that. Um, yeah, sometimes you just click stuff together and I'm tired. Um well, I think my mum's delivering lunch now. Um I think it's nearly lunchtime in my house and it's gay. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. So um I shall, shall see you in part two. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.